Uh, we want to remind <coughs> William Ruto one thing. We elected him purposely, not because he was special than all the other candidates. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yulian TV. I hope you're well from whatever you're watching this channel. Now, we have continued to get more complaints from people who voted for William Samoy Ruto. The people in the Rift Valley are continuing to complain over what they term the high cost of living. So if you have observed uh, lately, everybody is talking about these fuel issues. So I came across a clip, short clip, of around two minutes, a clip of an angry Washingishu resident who voted for William Samoy Ruto saying that William Samoy Ruto is not that special. Of all the clips I've stumbled upon, this was the most crazy one. And we elected him purposely, not because he was special than all the other candidates. We, ex we elected him because of his agendas that he had for the Aslas. And you see the one who the Jabata Pesa. So that is the beginner of that video that I'm planning to share with you thereafter. First, I would like to kindly request anybody who has not subscribed to this channel to please consider supporting your little TV by subscribing. I have noticed that so many people forget to subscribe and as a result, we miss out on subscriptions. Remember, if you subscribe, this channel gets a chance to grow. If you like our video, then YouTube gets to share our video to other audiences. So please just subscribe and also share uh, and also like our video and share our videos. To those who have supported us, I'm forever grateful for that support. Without you, this channel cannot grow. So let's get into this analysis. William Samoy Ruto has continued to receive enormous criticisms from the people who voted for him. There was a time I shared a video of a Meru voter who knew very well that if William Ruto took over the government, his her business would you know, expand and maybe, uh, I mean, things would change for, for, a be for the better. But unfortunately, she realized that she's spending more than what she projected. She said in that video that I shared that when Uhuru Muge Kenyatta was in power, she used to spend less. So she knew that if William Ruto took over the government, she would, stay, she would spend less and make more on profit. So she was saying in that clip I shared that she doesn't understand how comes a Tengenezi Pesa. Auze as use, it is all the same. So in this analysis, we are heading over to the Uwashingishu County, where Uwashingishu youth sent William Ruto a powerful message. And this time round, this message was directed at his cabinet, directed at his economic advisors, and directed as, at his lack of a seriousness in matters of the manifesto. We ex we elected him because of his agendas that he had for the Aslas. I just see the burden of the Masala to the Jabata Pesa. So as a dana na akibanisha be ya mafuta na nyanyaza matajiri ya manintu. Si zi ni burden of Masalas. In as much as atuna magari, tu gona mapiki piki. Eh, tu gona mapiki piki. Be ya mafuta imeenda na atuna pesa. He must know also that uh, fuel is the backbone driving our economy. Akipandisha fuel asitaraji hati kuna kitu itashuka. In fact, if you want to stabilize the economy, irudi kwe normal, let him subsidize to fuel. I don't know that you remember the video we shared some times back where we talked about a certain, again, Rift Valley resident who said that whoever took William Ruto's uh, manifesto amregeshe because what wanaumia. That was the message that was sent back then. Fadhali. Mwenye alipa kitabu ya manifesto ya Ruto, tafadhali rudisha, sisi tunaumia. Sisi nakisha umia, tafadhali rudisha. Kama ulipa manifesto ya Ruto, tafadhali rudisha. Fitu imepanda juu. In this analysis, as much as I want to be sad, but then I can't afford to you know, smile a bit because these are people who voted overwhelmingly well for William Ruto. The people in Washington Gishu, honestly, despite the fact that other, other regions... Maybe there was some vote theft, vote bribery, you know, those kind of things. But the people of Washington Gishu had all hopes 
in William Samoy Ruto. That's the reality. So if you find a scenario where by now that the people who are complaining, then one gets to wonder. This youth, Amelalamika, Amelalamika, and he has trailed his guns on one Moses Kuria, saying that William Ruto's cabinet ni, ni, is, is one of the, a shambolic cabinet, a cabinet of uh, ministers who are not serious. He even went to an extent of advising William Ruto to settle for techn technocrats and probably fire all the economic advisors because they are misleading uh, William Ruto. So, his words were so intense to a level where by now, Hata William Ruto Akipata a clip, maybe he'll be shocked. Driving our economy. Akipandisha fuel asitarajia ati kuna kitu itashuka. In fact, if you want to stabilize the economy, irudi kwe normal, let him subsidize two fuel. Na maindi tu bei ya chakula itarudi, bei ya kila kitu itarudi to normal. Lakini as long as, even if he tries, as much as namnagani, ati kupungusa vitu zingine, na badu bei ya mafuta iko juu, the cost of living still badu itakuwa juu. Uh, the second issue, he a reshuffle of the cabinet. A reshuffle. Miss you only mutu mwenye agona akili kwa hii cabinet yake. The only person mwenye ni kama agona akili, si mbaya sana ni kituri kindiki. At least he's doing, so we are seeing what he's doing. Lakini hizi zingine, hizi agona mutu wako serious. Like Moses Kuria. Moses Kuria mutu tu anatoka tu bana kuenda studio na kuongea nonsense. Right? So, we want to tell William Ruto, let him go back to his drawing board. Let him review the manifesto. Issue with employment. Let him go back and sit down. I don't see the need of having economic advisors, the likes of Kinandi, and yet the economy is heading in the wrong direction. Uh, so, let him, let, him, let him rearrange. Let him reshuffle. This issue, yeah, oh, employment to young people. <laughs> When he was resuming office, I will go and create employment for this as well as when you want to make it. I love you, Mungi, Nesiju, Deputy President. Regarding the Shakwa, and then the graduation, I'm going to go see him. At the same time, I'm going to make it. Right? A boss contradicting his boss. You see? So William Ruta should review. Now, come, come, I'm going to move to Munyango no more. Go to your secretary. Come, I'm going to move to Munyango no more. We have. Technocrats, people who can think, people who can reason, people who can assist William Ruta to deliver. At the time, I love to show 2027. That is true. Fuel is the backbone driving our economy. So there is no way, according to him, there is no way high cost of living in Ashuka because already fuel is at 200 plus. And in fact, according to Moses Kuria's words, in February it will be retailing at 260. That is what Moses Kuri assured us. So that means the high cost of living will continue to skyrocket. So there is no way, even if you subsidize fertilizers like he's doing, there is no way price of hunger will reduce. There is no way price of commodity will, will reduce. So this hustler is literally lecturing William Bruto and telling him that you need to put your facts right and you need to prioritize things. And there is no point subsidizing fertilizer and then not subsidizing fuel and then expect unga ishuke. Let's say, for example, a person who is a, a farmer uh, received that uh, fertilizer and then utilized on his, fa on his or her farm and then uh, the cost of production was low. So there is another factor here, the cost of transport. You know, the cost of transport will be high. And as, uh, as since the cost of transport will be high, then this farmer will want to uh, share that cost on the final consumer and the final consumer is easy people who didn't farm you know so this youth advice the william samoy ruto makes a lot of sense there you have it ladies and gentlemen what do you understand by that last statement and what do you understand by the call to have the cabinet uh, reshuffle rather abolish the old cabinet so that he can settle off te on technocrats you remember last year if you remember very well last year buddy told the speaker you know that patia william bruto cabinet yake yote you know there is no point just give him all this the whole list 
he will be controlling the cabinet from the settles. The president is simply telling us that we give him a cabinet that is not going to function because he's ready to run the entire government system, machinery and structure from state house using advisors. Or give President Ruto his skunk. Let us not interfere with it. We give it to him. He has asked for it. Let us give him his cabinet. We know he's going to run the government from state house. These are not people who can run a government. Mbadi said those words knowing very well that the people who are being appointed in that cabinet were not of the right qualification. So that is what was said back then. And this is beginning to be seen because even if you go back to the case of uh, uh, Boni Alwale, what Boni Alwale said, you know, Boni Alwale also said, Kwamba fire uh, CS Moses Kuria. Why? Because he finds that now Mrs. Moses Kuria is not competent. So I think these things these are things that uh, our to Auda Wenye and Wanajika Omejikuta Kwamba in our number because Boni Alwale did not know back then that whatever Mbadi said made sense. Whatever the people in Azimio said made sense. They just rubber stamp the whole uh, appointment list. Now, okay, Safisha, na Ikaenda. You find, you realize that even those corruption cases were dropped. They were dropped and those people were given Kazi Ivo Ivo, despite the fact that some of them proved to be incompetent. But back then, that was what was said. But right now, it is beginning to be seen. Like this, for example, what Rigadi Gachagua said when he, when he was in Nyeri yesterday. Rigadi Gachagua defended Moses Kuria after castigating Moses Kuria. What changed? You know, these are some of the things that we find very, very strange, especially now that even the youths of Washington Gishu are beginning to see that this is a cabinet of jokers. What the youth said there, the message is portrayed there, is has itself a lot of weight. And I think these are things that William Ruto should uh, adhere to. If the people who overwhelmingly voted for William Ruto in Washington Gishu can go to an extent of saying that Atutaki 2027 iwe ngumu kwake kuja kumbakura. Hatutaki 2027 iwe ngumu kwake kumbakura. That message, that message is very, very strong and I believe that message should reach the state house. Hatutaki 2027 iwe ngumu kwake kumbakura. He knows it. The youth full uh, uh, boda boda who conveyed his uh, is unhappiness at what the older regime is uh, engaged in knows it very well that it's not going to be easy and it's the truth it is the truth it is not going to be easy maybe William Ruto would have heeded the advice of Boni Alwale you know what Boni Alwale said because Boni Alwale's words were me to me I think this was just from a sober person some of them are on a reality but if he continues with what Gachago is saying, then hapo kuna shida. Because Gachago literally wants to protect a Mount Kenya CS. Because he knows that he needs Moses Kuri. I don't know for what reason. But maybe there is something that is Iko uh, Chinyamaji. But there is all these things will just and they, they will come to the limelight. This is Tajito Keza. Yeah? Nothing will be a secret forever. So why are they still clinging to Moses Kuri despite the fact that he has messed up, he's messing up the William Ruto regime, he's messing up the government, making those remarks, and also going to an extent of uh, writing tweets which are believed to be aimed at uh, Gachagua. What is there? Kuna nini hapo chinyamaji? That is one thing that only time will explain when the right time comes. The people who are complaining right now, ni watu wa uda. Ah, on Aliyah, because... Just like Alfred Keteri said last weekend, Akuna petrol station ya Azimio na petrol station ya Kenya Kwanza. Petrol station, bei kama ni miambili, ni miambili kwa Azimio na Kenya Kwanza. So the people in Kenya Kwanza ndio hawa wanalalamika sayi, wanalalamika kimuaramba. Maybe what Mackenzie said, he meant to have it directed to them, kimiwaramba. Na bado, kitawaramba. Because Moses Kura says, Bado until February. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to rest my case there, but uh, I am kindly requesting you to please don't forget to subscribe to 
give this video a like share our videos and uh, so until you catch up again please stay safe and stay blessed